Hey everyone, it's Jen, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make this snood. You're going to need around a size 19 knitting needle. You're going to need some bulky yarn. I use the Mega Bulky Burnett yarn. You're going to need two skeins of that. And then you're going to need a knitting needle. They're super dull, giant needle. And then you are going to need some scissors. So I use a knitting bowl just so that my yarn doesn't run away from me. And I'm going to teach you how to do the long tail cast on. So all you have to do is pull out about a yard of yarn for your tail. And then you're going to make a C with your hand. It kind of looks like an open F in sign language. You're going to lay the yarn across your fingers, tilt your hand, grab the two pieces of yarn, grab your kneading needle, insert, pull it out under your thumb, over the index, and back through the thumb. So you have two on your kneading needle. Let me show you again. C, tilt your hand, grab them, insert, thumb, index, pull it out. And you're going to do this until you get 19 on your knitting needle. Once you have 19, I have 20, took one off, you are going to begin your project. So I'm going to teach you how to knit and purl. These are two basic stitches um, that will create the seed stitch. So insert your needle, like you so, wrap your needle, pull it through, and off the needle on the left. Now you're going to Put the yarn through, go through the bottom, or through the top actually, and then wrap it again, pull through. That's purling. Okay, you're going to put it in the back. This is knitting. And this is purling. Knitting. Curling. And I like to have my work pushed up to the top of my left needle just so it's easier to pull off when I'm ready. A lot of people leave it lower just so that they don't lose stitches like on accident. So do what feels best. Working with big knitting needles is kind of hard. It kind of um, strains your hands a little bit and so just do whatever is comfortable for you. So you're just going to go back and forth like this until the end. And we have about four more stitches. Knit. And purl. Just kidding. I have like four more stitches now. Knit. And pearl. That's the last one. Okay, so we got through one row. Now you're going to take that row. Put it in your left hand now, and you're going to do the exact same thing the other way, starting with knit, like we did the last row. So this is going to stagger the stitches, and that's going to create the seed stitch. So on the, the row before, you're putting a knit on top of a purl, so that's what staggering the stitches looks like. 
So you're just going to continue to do this back and forth. Okay, so now that you've been knitting for a few rows, you're going to be able to start seeing your seed stitch appear. And I don't use rows for this pattern. I use measurement. And so I will show you on this tape that I have that I'm estimating that with both of these skeins of yarn, you're going to be measuring around 24 to 28 inches. And that'll be perfect for your infinity scarf. So I'll see you back when you've got about 24. Okay, so this is about 24 inches long. Now I'm going to teach you how to cast off your stitches. So it's kind of like knitting, but then you grab the stitch on the right side and pull it over the existing stitch that you just did and that's casting it off. So do two stitches, like normal, just knitting. You're gonna go back, grab that back stitch, pull it over, and then do a normal knitting stitch. Grab that stitch behind, pull it over that first one, then do a normal knitting stitch. Okay, and you're gonna continue like this all the way to the end. So take it as a song or a lesson to learn. And so, so I'm just about done um, casting off. And once I pull that last piece of yarn through the hole at the end to create a knot, I'm going to use the rest of that yarn to stitch up the end. Of each side it's going to be sitting in the back of your neck so you honestly don't have to do an amazing job at stitching and then also you're going to weave in the last pieces where you combined your second skein you're just going to weave those in to hide them and you're done so thanks for watching um, this snood being created and I hope you enjoyed it bye yeah,